hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing super awesome in today's video i'm gonna be showing you how i made this really really awesome nightmare before christmas tree bucket i hope you guys really like this video for this cake you're gonna need five eight inch round cakes right here i'm just leveling my cakes you want to do that for each of your layers I chose to use chocolate cake because I wanted the inside to look like Jack Skellington's suit. Since it's black, white, black, white, black, white, that's what I was going for. As you guys can see, you want to just stack them. Don't worry much about the outside because you, you're just going to carve it either way. You want to put your cake on the fridge for half an hour or an hour. And then after that, you want to start carving. You want to go for this type of egg shape kind of or maybe oval I don't know I just went for those Funko Pop little figures kind of shape I went for and as you can see I started crumb coating my cake and totally forgot for my treat hole so you want to carve your hole first and then you want to crumb coat your cake I'm using chocolate ganache because I really like the smooth finish it gives as you can see, I'm using a piece of acetate sheet. These guys are really awesome to getting those curved, smooth finish. Then you wanna use a toothpick to mark where both of the faces end. I measured a little bit just to know how far I wanna roll out my fondant, just to have enough to cover the whole space. Then you just wanna drape it over your cake. You wanna make sure you don't have any air bubbles, air pockets, any. You want to drape it over, smooth it with your hands, try to make sure that it's not wrinkled or anything. Take your time with this, use your fondant smoother. Then you just want to cut the excess on the bottom. And for the sides, you want to make a really clean cut because you're going to have both of the faces meet in that section. Don't worry much because we're going to cover it with Sally's hair. Here, as you can see, I'm using a kind of zombie-ish type of color. You just want to drape it over your cake. Make sure you don't have any air pockets again. Take your time with it. Use your fondant smoother. Make those clean cuts on the sides. Then make sure they're meeting, you know, make sure you cannot see the cake. You just want to get it really, really smooth. And since I'm really bad at recording, now you guys can see how I cut the sides. I totally keep remembering I'm making these videos for you guys. And then I just keep decorating and not put the cake for the camera just getting used to this so sorry for that this is how it's supposed to be looking now I'm using some cookie cutters to mark where I want my eyes then with my fondant tools I just mark his little nose then I mark his smile his smile, it doesn't have to be perfect because his smile is always different. He's always having all these different expressions and all that. Then you want to mark his eyebrows. With this fondant tool, which I find really, really nice and really interesting, you want to mark your stitches. For Sally, I use a smaller cookie cutter for her eyes. And just ignore my mark for the nose, didn't work out, so we're gonna cover it later. I made her scar for the eye, and then just put the stitches on. After that, you wanna cut out with the same cookie cutters some black circles. Then you just wanna use a little bit of water, vodka, anything that can work as a glue for sticking this fondant on. You want to make sure to cover those marks and just stretch it. You 
You want to do the same for Sally. And then after that, I just got a little bit of water, put some drops of Blackfoot coloring, and just filled all of his features, all of Jack Skellington's features. I filled them up with that little bit of water and black coloring. As you guys can see, we made this really tiny nose to cover up my horrible nose that I made first. Um, I wasn't really pleased with that nose, but we put it on either way. So, you guys can work on your nose more than me if you want. As you guys can see, I'm using like a brownish type of color for her hair. Um, you want to work in two panels because her hair, it divides in the middle. So you, you, you don't want to drape over a big piece. You want to work with two pieces. It's much easier. Then you want to make a clean cut on the sides, but you want to go a little bit over the white side to make it really nice and really good finish. You just want to cut the excess in the bottom and then with a fondant tool, you just want to make some lines just to give it a little bit of texture to make her hair. And that's how it's supposed to look. You want to do the same for the other side. And then for her mouth, I'm just making like this diamond shape with a division on the top just to make her lips. I cut off some excess and I made it a little bit smaller. And now that we have the mouth on, I can do her stitches on her smile. I call it smile. I don't know if it's her smile or not. Don't worry, just put the stitches on. And then you want to do the same you did for Jack. Just fill in those gaps that you have with that water black food coloring thingy I made. And that's how she's supposed to look. Now for the handle, I didn't have a long enough wire. So I'm just using my short floral wire and I just stick them together. I used a little bit of floral tape and make sure you stretch the floral tape because if you don't stretch it, you won't activate the glue. You just want to make it flat so you can put your wire on the inside and then you just want to roll that out with the wire inside. For the shape, I just taped it to a six inch cake pan. I saw this technique in how to cake it. I love that YouTube channel. Um, as you can see, I just taped both sides to keep it still so it doesn't bounce back. I smoothed it a little bit with my fondant smoother and set it aside to dry. Now we're gonna make Sally's eyelashes. As you can see, I just made some teardrops really pointed on the top and you just wanna make six of those for both sides. You just wanna have the really thick bottom part, stick it on with a little bit of water you just want to have them just crossed and then pointing up. And this is how it's supposed to be. Looks so beautiful. Now for the treat hole on the top, I didn't want to leave it like that. It looks really ugly with that cake showing and all that frosting. So I just put a piece of black fondant, made a clean cut around so it doesn't look bad and all wrinkly and that's it after that you just want to put your handle on hello Sayuri she's always around with me that's my daughter then you just put your handle on and you just fill your cake with treats that's it you guys I hope you you guys really really like this video Give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see a new video every Tuesday. Bye!